It's time for Food Fluencer Friday. Today's chef got to start at 11 years old and has amassed over 9 million followers. He's also the author of Eitan Eats the World, and it's always great to have him here. Please welcome Eitan Bernath. Hello, Hi, thank you for having you. me. Welcome it's back. so good to be back. Right, let's get started. What are we doing today? We are making a smokerless smoked chicken. Okay. okay. Smokerless. Yes, and we're going to be spatchcocking a chicken. Now, you can obviously do this recipe with any type of chicken, any piece cut up. You could do it with just chicken breast, chicken thighs, but we're doing the whole chicken. Have you ever okay. I've heard you guys have spatchcocked I, I, on the show. Mm -hmm. I have. Yeah. Okay. And I've seen this, but show me how to do okay, it. Okay, so so we're gonna take our whole chicken. Now, if you don't want to do this, they do now definitely sell uh, pre-spatchcock chickens. Okay. And what uh, you want to do? But we want to learn how. Yeah, we want to learn how to do it. So what you need to do is you're gonna take your chicken shears and just cut out the spine. It's pretty easy to do. It's, it sounds intimidating, but as you're gonna see, we're gonna do it in literally seconds. Okay. You just cut out that center right over here. Well, I'll tell you, the chicken is very intimidating. Yes. No, I mean, it could be a little scary, but it's a good technique once you get it down. Look at that. Easy. We got you just that. cut the spine right out. Spine's out. Now you can save this. Great for making. Did you want it? No, that's You're good. Okay. Okay. I'll, I'll pass. <laughs> then we're just gonna take out the chicken guts. And now we're gonna do a little uh, Heimlich maneuver CPR. Would you like to do? Sure. We're gonna break that breastbone. Push down. Boom. Oh, okay, there it is. Hear the crack? Yep. Perfect. There we go. Now, what this does, it's going to give us a nice even chicken, okay? Very, very even. Cooks very evenly. Now, okay. Kelly, over here, we're yes. going to make a spice mix. We're going to okay. do some mustard powder, uh -huh. smoked paprika, onion powder, chili powder, and garlic powder. Now, what we're going to do with our chicken, salt it, put it in the fridge overnight. That'll get it nice and crispy. It'll dry it up so when we actually cook it, it's ah, super crispy. Okay, great. I love I love a crispy chicken. Yes, it is very, very important. Okay, so we're gonna mix that together. Beautiful. Now, we're gonna imagine this has already been done. Now, Kelly, do you wanna pour that on here? I sure do. Beautiful. Oh, wait, oh, we forgot the mustard. We gotta do the mustard. mustard. So we're gonna take some mustard, and you just wanna slather that mustard all Beautiful. over here. Okay. Beautiful. Now, that'll act as our glue. Take that, you little glued spatchcock yes. chicken. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> take it all in. Beautiful. <laughs> Beautiful. Now, this. This next technique I learned from my dad, who is in the audience back there in the blue shirt. Hello, Dad. Hi, Dad. Okay, now, to add that extra smoke flavor, now we have the smoked paprika, which will give us smokiness, but we also took some soaked wood chips, okay. just in a little packet right over here. If you're using charcoal like I have at my apartment, mm -hmm. you can uh, put it right on the grills. Now, do you want to grab our chicken? Sure. You right. show that chicken right, who's you, boss. No, just the chicken, ready okay. for it? Yep. And we are gonna place that right on the grill. Perfect, bone side okay. down. Now, because we've spatchcocked it, it's gonna be nice and flat, so it'll cook evenly. We're gonna place this on right over here. Start that cooking, that and will that increase the smoke. And that acts as a smoker. Yeah, uh, smoke-ish, shall smoke -ish. we say. But you have to soak the chips. Yes. Soak them. If you don't soak the chips, yeah. you'll have uh, a, fire. Uh, a burnt chicken. Yes. A burnt chicken. Okay. Now, barbecue sauce. Love it. We're going to do ketchup in here along with our pineapple juice. Now, Ooh. we have a little bit of heat in our uh, seasonings yep. that we yeah. did. So this is going to be a little more sweet. We're going to add in a little bit of Worcestershire, molasses, if you like okay, to add yep, that sure. in. A little bit of our apple cider vinegar. Give that a whisk. Where's our whisk? There right over there. Beautiful. There. Now, we're going to cook that, thicken that up. And this is what we're going to actually coat that chicken with, and it's going to give it this kind of like sticky Ooh, exterior. Ooh, delicious. Yeah, smell that air. This okay. is what it looks like when it is done. Uh, and we're going to brush it on, and we're going to cook this for 20, 20 minutes, 25 minutes. And the key is, everyone always says, how do you know how to cook a perfect chicken? Yeah, how do you know when it's done? 165 degrees Fahrenheit on the inside. Use an instant read thermometer. Okay. It'll cost you like 15, 20 bucks online. Right. It'll save you. There's no secret. How deep do you put that in there? As fully, make sure it's fully in the breast. Once, or you take it off at 160 or so. Okay. Yeah, I mean, the chicken's been through a lot already. Yeah. Watch right. one more. We're gonna on. finish it up. We're gonna finish up and taste when we come back. Stick around. And we're yeah. back with Aton Bernath, and we're making smokeless smoked chicken. All right, what's next? Yeah. So let's open up the grill. As you could see, Ooh, there is the smoke. There is smoke. It is not feeling it's smokeless not out here. It's smokeless. Okay. okay. So we're Amazing. gonna brush our. Uh, almost done chicken right okay. over here with that barbecue sauce. It's gonna get nice and sticky on there, really add lots of flavor. We have the spice from the spices we added, and this will add some nice sweetness. And so we wait till it's almost done to start brushing? You brush about 15 minutes in. Give it some time to cook. You want those Give spices little, to actually okay. cook. got it. And okay. this should make, I don't know if it's as good as Gelman's chicken. Oh, uh, well, nothing ever is, yes. because Gelman, grow, you know, first he sits on the eggs himself and hatches yes. them. Yes. <laughs> 
That's and it true. can't be said that nurturing presence yes. of Gelman. It, yes. Yeah, it's nothing like the chickens you get at the yes. store. And Correct. so we're going to just brush that, give that a few times for okay. a brush. Okay. And then we also reserve some of the barbecue sauce because it's delicious to actually just dip the chicken right in. Yes. Can we taste okay. this? Yes, yes. Yeah. Give it a try. Do right. wanna, oh, you already have a fork. Grab a little piece of pineapple. I'm going to go. Oh, God. Delicious. So bite sized. Mm. Yeah, so you have that flavor of smoked chicken without eating a smoker, especially if you live. It's so tender. Right? Very mm -hmm. tender, very juicy. Very good. Achan, thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you for having thank me. Thank you so much. This recipe is on our website. Don't forget to check out Aton on their social media platforms and pick up Aton Eats the World, where books are sold.